The semiconductor boom has created demand for automated test equipment manufacturers or ATE and automation houses, generating high-value jobs for engineers and technicians. As the world moves into the fourth industrial revolution and AI, the semiconductor and manufacturing sectors now need ATE and factory automation solutions more than ever to stay competitive. These changes have contributed to the rise of ATE makers, which have largely outperformed outsourced semiconductor assembly and test or OSEC companies in terms of share price. What are the opportunities and challenges ahead? And will these equipment vendors continue to be the beneficiaries of the tech boom? In our city and country pullout, amidst the economic challenges brought about by COVID-19, some have been brave enough to start their own firms. In conjunction with Malaysia Day, we talked to business owners about their start in property development and their journey since. How have they adapted and pivoted their business models to beat the pandemic blues? What advice and encouragement can they provide to a new generation of entrepreneurs? In options, the spotlight is on Hunza Properties founder Dato Sri Korteng Tong. Hardship was the catalyst that made him put his shoulder to the grindstone to lift his family out of poverty. It was this desire that started him on a 60-year commercial journey, during which he followed a continuous signpost, do it right. Meanwhile, in our digital edge pullout, Malaysia has never faced greater upheaval, battling the twin evils of COVID-19 and political upheaval. But technology can come in to save the day. We look at how it can provide effective solutions for everything, from continuity of government services to enabling democratic processes. Details in this week's edition of The Edge. Save by subscribing to us for your print and or digital copy. The Edge is also available on Apple's App Store and Android's Google Play.